So what's up everybody? I am in my car right now. Um, I just sat down and these bolts under here literally just got loose and then one fell into my seat just now so I just tied them back up. This is the one thing I don't like about the NRG one. These two bolts are here. You want the white little washers right there? Oh, there you go. These ones like they got loose and then it fell in my seat. And this one right here gets loose a lot too. So for example, look if you Oh, I can't really see in the video, but I can move the steering wheel a little, but I'm gonna get rid of this uh, energy quick tilt later on. But for now, it works, because it allows me to get out of my seat. And, um, I just picked up the shift knob. This is the carbing, carbon, carbing shift knob, if it will fucking focus. Um, Come on, bro. Okay, anyways. Yeah, this is the carving shift knob. Uh, I just picked it up. And uh, it actually feels pretty good because when I'm shifting, I like grabbing like this. And then normally you got the round one. Like, I'm not used, I don't like grabbing like this. I like grabbing like this. So I was like, oh yeah. Oh wait, what am I doing? Okay, so this video is about the K2 shifter. Um, someone asked me on my Instagram, and I got a lot of questions about it too when I first got it, about how I, um, how I like it, or how I feel about it. And, uh, to be honest, well, one thing is this camera's pissing me off, and to be honest, this thing is really, really nice. I love the K2 shifter. This is the version 2, but this isn't the pro one, where, if you guys, if you guys seen, the, um, really bulky ones. Where they're like silver or whatever, I post up a photo or something. This is a, um, I guess the, uh, I'll say the regular one, but this is the second version which has, um, can't see the, the ball down there, the one to adjust the throw. Uh, it's gold, so that's pretty much the second version, uh, based off the pictures. But um, the shift is really solid. Um, I think the first version, this, um, Hex key right here normally gets loose, so it'll pretty much get loose when you're driving, but I had no issues with this at all. And the benefit about the K2 shifter is you could adjust the throw by using the ball right there. The only downside about it is that you always have to drop the shifter in order to adjust it, but um, pretty much where I set it at, I like it. And uh, this is my current, where the current throw is. So there's first, there's second, third, fourth, and then fifth. And it's, it's really short, but um, it's really, really smooth. Especially since I'm running the Dimes for Performance uh, Shifter Bushings. And those are a must. I'll link you guys too for, for that. Um, yeah, it's really solid. And then uh, pretty much overall great quality. I mean, I paid $140 for a brand new off uh, it eBay. And... Um, Yes, and you can adjust the height of the shifter, so you see how there's these little indents. And then there's two hex keys right here that you just unscrew and then you can adjust the height. It's pretty much like a shift extender because everybody buys those uh, Circuit Hero uh, shift extenders and everything, or the eBay ones, whatever. Um, but this one, you could adjust the height. Also, this nut right here, or hex key, or hex bolt, if you loosen it, you could pull the shifter up and then you can actually slide the shifter over so you pretty much can make it sh uh, closer to you so um, I don't listen because I like the position but um, overall this little ring the silver ring around the hex bolt um, has a little stick so there's holes on this black piece that stick in so it'll, once you put it in it won't pretty much turn or anything um, so pretty much yeah this shifter is great overall you know nice build quality and um, so far, I, that, I mean, there's nothing that's been ever wrong with it for me. Besides, this did get loose at first for me when I installed it because I forgot to tighten it down. But overall, ever since then, it's been straight. And uh, it looks really good too, so. But um, overall, especially with the Dimes for Performance Shifter bushings, oh my god, this thing is so smooth. Ah, hold on, there. It's really smooth. Um, so pretty much. 
first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Um, and then reverse or whatever, whoever cares. Yeah, this thing is amazing. I recommend it to a lot of people. I mean, they don't even cost so much. You know, you'd rather just buy this compared to just buying like a Skunk Tool dual bend or the single bend. Um, a lot of people buy the race line. I really wanted that at first. But then my friend Dwayne, uh, he said to stick with the K2 and I decided to do that and um, pretty much I like it ever since. Uh, no problems with it at all. And oh my god, there we go, carbine. Oh, I can't even, this camera's retarded as fuck. But yeah, I love this shift knob too. But I have a Spoon Sports one also, but um, I decided just to buy this. I mean, I, I, I try to change shift knobs here and there, pretty the same with um, wheels. But yeah, that's my pretty much my brief review of the K2 shifter. So, 